Hey everybody, uh, today I want to talk to you a little bit about Hacktoberfest, about what it is, and uh, how to participate. Um, so Hacktoberfest is a month-long event that happens in October. Uh, the goal is to get people interested in the open source community, uh, and especially to get uh, people into contributing to open source, um, you know, p newer people uh, into contributing. I don't know about you all, but for me, uh, contributing to open source projects on GitHub was always very intimidating. Okay, so it's still a little bit intimidating for me. Uh, but Hacktoberfest is cool because uh, it just seems like um, project maintainers are more open to newer people uh, trying to contribute. Uh, so if you're interested or you want to get started in it, um, you just go to the Hacktoberfest website. So I believe it's, it's hacktoberfest.digitalocean.com. So DigitalOcean is the like the main sponsor. I believe there are other sponsors, but DigitalOcean is the one that kind of started it and um, is providing a lot of the swag. So you do get a T-shirt uh, if you uh, if you participate in the event. So for now, since it's not October yet. Uh, if you go to the website, you can put in your email address and they'll send you an email whenever the event officially launches. If you're watching this and it's already October, you can go to the website and uh, it you should be able to, um, I believe if you like sync up your, uh, your GitHub account um, so that they can know whenever you complete pull requests. So I think that's how it goes just from, from past years. Uh, so that's where you want to go, hacktoberfest.digitalocean.com. Um, so if you don't have a GitHub account, you're definitely going to want to do that first. Uh, but if you do, once you sign up, then uh, you're ready to go. There'll be a, there'll probably be a page somewhere. I don't think they have it live yet, but there'll be a page somewhere that'll show you a list of uh, pull requests or projects that are like Hacktoberfest friendly. Right, and they'll just be issues on GitHub that have a Hacktoberfest tag. Right, so you want to look for those. You can also go to GitHub, and let's go to GitHub right now and see. There's probably some Hacktoberfest tags out there. Uh, let's see. If we just type in Hacktoberfest in the search and look for issues, uh, then we could see. Hacktoberfest. I don't know if there's a way to, to uh, search for tags. Let's see if we can search just for the tags. There we go. I keep saying tag. It's label. Label. So let's let's do an advanced search. We're going to search for issues with a label Hacktoberfest. There we go. Um, I'm going to switch to the label one because the uh, the initial search I did is just searching for um, issues that have the word Hacktoberfest in them. But we actually want the label Hacktoberfest. Uh, so we could see there's a lot. How many results did we get? 68K. All right, so we have a lot, uh, a lot of stuff here. So I guess we can just pick one. I'm gonna try to see. It looks like these ones are all from the same, same one that it came from. This one's weird. This is about adding an something to an emoji page. That's interesting. Let's just check this out. So basically, we click on the issue, and we could see. All right, there's a lot of useful labels on here. So help wanted, good first issue, Hacktoberfest. If you're new, look for this one, good first issue. But if if a open source maintainer puts Hacktoberfest as the tag, then they're definitely open for help, right? They, they want help with this. Uh, so this particular issue has, it just has a link, right? Um, but what you would want to do Let's let's assume that 
you have looked at this issue and you think, hey, I want to work on this. This is something I want to do. Uh, what you'll want to check out is a contributing. So let's we'll go to the code part of this, and uh, we'll see if there's a contributing dot md, and it looks like there is not also contribute. This is actually a cool project. I didn't this is just, I didn't look this up beforehand, uh, but this is kind of cool. Here we go. So sometimes there'll be a separate file that'll say contributing dot md. You'll want to look at that to see the the way to contribute to that particular project. Sometimes it's just on the main page in the README. Uh, so we're going to check the README. So this contributing below our instructions. So you just want to check out the particular instructions for this repository. Right. We're not going to, to go through the instructions now, but you always want to check out the contributing. If you've looked at the instructions for contributing and you think, okay, I can do this, um, then you'll want to go back to the issue and you want to leave a comment and say something like, hey, uh, I'd like to give this a shot, something like that. Just let the maintainer know that you would like to work on that. And then that's also going to let everybody else know who may be looking at this later on they'll know that, hey, somebody's working on this already. So maybe they'll move on. Maybe they'll send you a message and say, hey, uh, you know, are you still working on this before they they start to work on it as well? Uh, so once you do that, it's time to get to work. So the first thing you want to do is fork the repository. And uh, I'll actually, I'll just go ahead and fork this. So you fork the repository. This is going to make a copy for you that's going to live on your GitHub, uh, your, your GitHub profile. So now that you have this, then you're going to want to clone it. So cloning it is how you get this repository onto your local machine to, to work on it. So if you have SSH set up for your GitHub account, which I recommend doing, then you can use the SSH uh, URL. Otherwise, you can use HTTPS, right? And then you're going to go into your terminal and type in git clone and then paste that in. Okay, so you do that, you make your changes, um, create a separate branch. So in GitHub, if you do uh, git, the command git branch, then you create a separate branch follow the naming guidelines of that repository if there are naming guidelines uh, do all your work on that separate branch right don't do it on the master branch and then push it to your fork so you do a git push all your your code changes will get pushed up then when you go back to your repository there'll be a message at the top saying hey do you want to submit this pull request right so when you you just click the button to submit the pull request what that'll do is that'll send a message to that original repository, right? And it'll show up as a pull request here. So let's let's see this pull request. So it'll show up and it'll give you a chance to leave a message here. So this one's actually pretty detailed where this person says it's addressing this issue number 71. So you want to say what issue it's addressing. The, you know, ver um, reference it by issue number. Then you explain what you did. And you'll wait. Some repositories will have automated tests that'll run. And if your tests fail, then you know, hey, I got to do something, you know, to get this accepted. Otherwise, you just wait and the repository owner might have some comments, might request some changes, uh, or they might just accept it. All right, and once they accept it, then you, you'll you have, uh, I believe it turns purple, right? So this will turn purple, it'll be merged, right? So that what that means is your branch will then be part of the main branch, usually master, uh, of this code. And then your, your uh, picture will go, uh, your profile picture will go right here and do contributors. So... And it's always cool to, to see yourself in uh, in some of these projects. And then when that happens and it's accepted, 
if you go back to your Hacktoberfest page, right, and like once you sign your link your GitHub account, you'll have your own Hacktoberfest page. It'll show that you've completed a pull request. I believe it's four pull requests to get the T-shirt. At least I think that's what it was last year. So I'm I'm assuming it's the same uh, same thing. It'll say somewhere on the site four pull requests. You can keep track of how many you've done. Um, once you get the four, right, then eventually you'll get a T-shirt and usually some stickers in the mail. Uh, this is what last year's T-shirt looked like. It was pretty cool. I actually didn't get it. To, I didn't finish all the pull requests uh, last year in time, so I didn't get that shirt. But I got the shirt from the year before. My wife has this shirt though. It's it's pretty nice. It's a soft shirt. Uh, so that's the basics, like the quickest run through I could give of how to participate in Hacktoberfest. Let me know if you want me to do like more details about how to set up different things with Git. I have some other videos about how to use Git and GitHub and uh, making pull requests and things like that. So go check that out for a more technical uh, explanation of how to do this stuff on the command line and everything. Um, but uh, yeah, other than that, if you have any questions, let me know. I'm going to be participating in Hacktoberfest this year. So, you know, I'm, I'll be in there with you. I may even do some live streams about me uh, working on uh, Hacktoberfest issues. I'm going to go through all my repositories that I'm still actively maintaining and I'm going to mark some issues with the Hacktoberfest label. I encourage you to do that as well if, if you are a open source maintainer. Um, you know, all you have to do to participate is mark issues with Hacktoberfest. Make sure you update your contributing.md files so that people know how to uh, contribute. And uh, try to be friendly to beginners, uh, answer their questions, be patient with them. And if you haven't contributed yet, now is a great time to contribute. Uh, people are going to be expecting new people to, and uh, they're gonna be more open to helping you and you could get a free t-shirt, which is always nice. Uh, so uh, anyway, I hope this helps. Uh, let me know. Uh, what you thought of the video in the comments below uh, or, or send me a message or something on Twitter. Um, but until next time, have a great day.